All right, guys, I did not think that we'd be making a video about this. Uh, you know, we've lost some of the great players over the years. People have retired. You know, it feels like the old guard, the generation that I'm from, there's not many people competing uh, still from that time period. And we just lost another one. And we lost one of the goats, uh, you know, King Skump. He's been on that team for a long, long time. His impact on the scene is unbelievable. Uh, you know, so many scum stories that I have. Uh, he's just such a, you know, a good dude and a fierce competitor. And he could have retired a long, long time ago. But, um, you know, he decided to step down now uh, in the middle of the season. And it's tough, man. Uh, you know, on Twitter, everywhere, I'm sure you guys have all seen some of the greatest scum stories and stuff like that. Uh, you know, this is a guy who, you know, I competed against for a long, long time. Um, and always extremely tough to go up against. Uh, I remember back in the day, uh, probably the funniest like scum uh, story that I have, I guess, uh, outside of like stuff of the bars hanging out is when I teamed with them in Black Ops 1 uh, and it was right when Call of Duty was going to have its pro circuit for the first time. Um, and Scump was like really good at some of the games prior, you know, young kid who's cracked out. Uh, and I was like making a team and we made a team. It was me, Liar, for some of you OGs. Who know who ray is ray liar he was a really good cod pro uh back in the day from like cod 4 up until uh probably bo1 the end of bo1 is when liar sort of went on like a little oh actually i would say bo2 is still pretty good at but anyways me liar uh bobby and skump that was our team uh and we were really good online scrims uh but we were like no 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 these guys they're too young they you know and really they're like a year two years younger than us but we were like no 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 they're like too new to call of duty uh let's pick up these two guys so we picked up main and too quick well lo and behold like two months later we go to that tournament and in the finals it's us versus scump's team uh, <laughs> and he's on a he's on leverage with axtp and bobby so scump and bobby and they fried us in the finals and i'm sitting there i'm like wait a second dude this kid is that good <laughs> and then from then on out dude this kid is just he's just disgusting dude like uh you know one of one of the best ever to do it uh you know top three unanimous uh also the greatest smg of all time uh the, the most impactful player uh i would i would say formerly it was nate shot who had the biggest impact on the scene but i would say because of the longevity you know, it's just hard to compare like they both just had a massive impact but you know for me personally i think scump had a bigger impact uh, in terms of like content and stuff like that because i would always look at that's what stopped a lot of pros from doing content was how much it would take away from your competitive nature screaming and stuff scump always somehow found that balance of being able to do that but still be the top like still be better than you and still making content so he was like the example of like yo there's no reason you shouldn't be doing this. You know what I mean? So I think as time went on with the pressures and how big Optic got, like he maybe stopped doing content as much to focus on, you know, longevity of his career, which I think was the right decision because it lasted so long. Uh, but anyways, coming into the season, Scump, um, you know, he was going to have his last season. Uh, CODs have been a little tough for the last couple of years, not what traditionally we used to play. So maybe he fell out of love with the competition, at least uh, in a... Uh, in the form of the game perspective maybe not the competition perspective um but the way these games play uh i think that maybe had a little bit to do with it also just life as you get older he got engaged stuff like that like you know you want to be able to take the time to go relax and make content do other things he has other passions obviously so i think all that factored in and then with this recent optic drama um i have no idea how this went down right i have a couple ideas of how maybe it went down i'm not i don't have any ins over there I don't, I don't know how it went down so i'm gonna give you guys what i thought um i think maybe it was partly uh you know obviously all the stress and the things i just talked about about him retiring at the end of the season definitely played a factor so take that into account and in what i'm uh, about to say how i think it went down i think that played a factor in his decision but also you know them the community going crazy about this switch them having a bench dashy and pick up hook I think he knew he was done after the season and potentially could leave optic in a really bad spot um if like for dashy for example optic's not gonna want to send him anywhere like if you're hexing your optic organization you know scum's gonna retire you don't want to send dash anywhere but also you don't want to just hold him on your bench right so you if you're scum you kind of put them in like a little bit of a difficult spot for the future right so it's like if i'm optic 
sit there and I go, man, like Seth, what do we do here? You know, like I, first and foremost, I want you to compete for the rest of this year, but like, what do we do with Brandon? Um, and you talk to the rest of the guys like, well, we kind of want, maybe want to team with Brandon next year. So it's like for Scump, it's almost an impossible scenario. It's like, do I leave them in ruins for the next year or do, you know, do I make it a very difficult off season for them? Or do I absolutely like screw Dashy and leave him on our bench and just trap him until I retire as a weight game? What if we don't have success? All these things are in his head, you know, and like for Scump, that's a lot uh, for anybody. And, you know, if I, this is how I think it may have went down. And I think Scump, you know, just a culmination of all these things. Like I'm retiring at the end. This is stressful. Everybody's staying all this stuff on social media, the pressure of winning. We already not finding success. We have to pick up who do we trap dashy do i make him wait till i retire do we send him off and then optics and ruins he's like i know if a quick solution i'll just retire now give brandon the spot back and they have who who can you know do sort of what i do and hopefully they find success and everybody's happy and it doesn't leave optic you know in limbo for the future so i think that that's probably how it went down um and then there's another side to it. <laughs> just funny conspiracy. Uh, this is this is not how it went down, but I just thought it was hilarious. Uh, Optic is like, you know what? We don't want Hook to come in and be like Scump's replacement. You know what I mean? Like, and then that puts so much pressure on him. So, you know, let's drop Dashy. Let's control all this narrative. Let's have Scump come in, smoke Zinny, and then Dashy comes in and replaces Scump. So that way, that's how everybody talks about it, right? So even though that's not how it went down, if it was calculated like that, Optic is next level genius. Uh, and I just think that that's just genius. And either way, however this went down, it worked out in their favor because like all these storylines, everything intersecting is great. I feel like Scump had more left in the tank, man. But, you know, like I said, it's just a tough situation. Um, and I get it. Uh, but anyways, guys, like let's show them some support. Let's remember what Scump has done and let's build new heroes for the Call of Duty League now. Um, you know, I don't think there will be a face like that again for the call, for Call of Duty. But I think that there is opportunity to build up a lot of other people, um, you know, just finding positive in what could be such a sad and negative time because, you know, there's no longer like the old guard is done. All we got left is, is clay. Um, anyways yeah uh much love to you brother i know you're signing off he'll be probably around at, at events and stuff um and yeah this is the reddit's been up in arms is crazy and then the new roster if you want to talk about it a little bit it's basically an empire team with dashy um and i think you know they have potential to be really really good i mean there's no doubt about it like hooks a speed demon shots the speed demon scum talks about that in his tribute which i'll put a link to that in the description um where his thank you video where you guys can watch it if you haven't seen it um, and this team should be pretty good. Uh, honestly, they have Illy and Dashy who, you know, have to learn a little bit about, you know, hard point ins and outs of this game. We've talked about it. The hard point has been decent, but I mean, I have, I have a lot of hope for this team. I think it can be solid. Like Shotzi and Hook have worked together really, really well. And we saw that in their last match, like Scump was running the AR sort of just like playing a little bit slower. And this last interview that we did with him, we talked about, oh, it's the fun stuff. I'm not doing that anymore. Just playing smarter and more disciplined. Well, that'll be on dashy to do and then who can shotzi to be running around and the pace that they play at it works together really well so i think it's to be a great search team a solid hard point team like as, as time goes goes on they'll be competing for championships um so yeah uh, and then all the tweets and stuff yesterday so yeah man tough day for the cod community but you know great day for scump honestly either way much love to you brother I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, if you guys support, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It allows me to make more videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll be talking about the matches this weekend. And I'm sure we'll have some stuff on broadcast uh, to highlight the great career and time we've had uh, with Scump in, in the scene. So appreciate you guys. Much love. Peace.